present today's final honoree, please welcome a longtime board member of Lupus LA and one of the, this organization's true heroes. She's lovely, Michelle Kay. Good afternoon, everyone. Lupus LA. When my daughter got sick, the only good thing that came out of it was getting involved with Lupus LA and the executive board and meeting people like Kathy Gallagher. Our board is small but mighty, compromised of passionate go-getters that have been touched by this disease. Kathy Gallagher is one of those go-getters. She hasn't quit saying yes to any job or challenge put in front of her since the day she joined the executive board eight years ago. She's always there to help facilitate making every Lupus LA event a success. Kathy has chaired our luncheon and has been involved in the planning and fine tuning of each and every element. She also skillfully achieved getting us the most amazing, unique, deliciously edible chocolate centerpieces created by Sherry Yard for our orange ball twice. Kathy also has taken on a few major projects of her own for Lupus LA. A few years ago, some of you had the great privilege to participate in an exclusive, over-the-top dinner party at Kathy's beautiful home. Yes, the ticket price was high, but wow, worth every penny that was raised for Lupus LA. What an evening to remember. From the hand-delivered chocolate invitations to Wolfgang Puck and Sherry Yard's scrumptious food, to an exclusive performance by the LA Opera Company. All Kathy's creations that she made happen to all of our delight. Kathy has also been the driving force behind developing our Lupus LA marathon team. With each year, it has grown bigger and stronger, generating close to $100,000 this year. And Yes, that's worth an applause. <laughs> and might I add also, I might interject here, what a trooper her significant other, Greg Scott, has been. <laughs> Not only training and participating in the marathon, but also for his constant support of Lupus LA, and always with a smile and that. Greg, you are fabulous. It has truly been a privilege and a treat to work closely with Kathy on so many projects for Lupus LA. How fortunate for me to have met you through our work with Lupus LA, but how lucky I am to know that now you're involved in all sorts of aspects of my life. You know, through the years, we all have had many people that come in and out of our lives, but some are keepers. You want to hold on to them. Kathy, you are one of those keepers. I wish to hold on to for a very long time. I admire you, and I am thrilled to call you my friend. Please, everyone, stand up and join me in welcoming this year's woman of achievement, the smart, the stylish, the sexy, the sensational Kathy Gallagher. this award to me today. You have done so much for Lupus LA and are truly an inspiration to us all. Let's hear it for Michelle Kay. I am honored to be standing here before you. It means so much to me to accept this gracious honor from Lupus LA, an organization that is so close to my heart I can't get through without crying ever, but it's an organization.
organization that's so close to my heart and that has done so much for the people coping with this disease. I'd al like to also offer my congratulations to Bruna Papandrea. Witherspoon is doing so much for the women in Hollywood. Bruna is also a tireless advocate for lupus. It is a real privilege to share this day with you. I'm also grateful to Roberto Cavalli, who not only dressed me for today, but also brought his brilliant flair for fun and fashion to today's luncheon. And to Kelly and Sharon Stone, who have been such absolute champions of the event and the cause, and who along with their mother, Dorothy, and board member, Janice Wallace, were honored last year. And now I'd like to explain why I stand here before you today with lupus as my cause. I do not have lupus, but I will never forget the first time my ex-husband and I went to go see Dr. Dan Wallace. Tim had been suffering for years and years with chronic, debilitating symptoms. He had flares of extreme fatigue, terrible joint pain, headaches, skin rashes, chest pain, and then one day he woke up with no vision in his left eye. After going from appointment to appointment in search of a diagnosis, Dr. Dan Wallace was finally able to diagnose his condition as lupus. Dr. Wallace got it when nobody else could. I had no idea, absolutely zero idea, what lupus was when we first got the diagnosis. But now I know lupus is an autoimmune disorder that causes inflammation in various parts of the body. The immune system normally protects against viruses, bacteria, and other foreign substances. But in lupus, the immune system loses its ability to differentiate between foreign substances and its own cells, and it attacks its own healthy tissue. And when we first got the diagnosis, I went home and I did what so many of us do at first. I cried. But then I told my former husband that I would do everything possible to fight this disease. I kept that promise. The marriage ended, but my fight goes on. Thank you. And so I join the Lupus LA board, and I've had the honor to serve as co-chair of this luncheon for the past five years. I have watched this event grow year after year from a small gathering to one of the most highly anticipated and successful luncheons in town. And in the fight against lupus, I am so grateful for the participation, support, and energy of the people in this room who have all done so much in so many different ways. I am so appreciative of all of you who have attended galas, played poker, run a marathon, or written a check, all in support of the cure. It's because of all of you that lupus will one day be history. And as we move, we do so knowing that the key to the cure to lupus is the same key that will help unlock the cures to such other autoimmune disorders as rheumatoid arthritis, MS, asthma, Crohn's, diabetes, scleroderma, among others. Every single one of us in this room is a person of heart and commitment, and I know we all get requests every day in the mail from a variety of causes, all of them worthwhile. But I can think of no other organization that does so much for the people who need it. In such a relatively short period of time, a mere 14 years 
since Dr. Dan Wallace founded it, Lupus LA has become the single most vital resource for research, awareness, support groups, and of course, hope. And I'd like to thank the people who have supported me in my fight against lupus. First and foremost, my son Brendan, who is away at school. I'm filming this for him. Hi, Brendan. Who is away at school and could not join us today. You are the light of my life and make me proud in every way. And now I'd like to thank my darling and yes, very handsome partner right there, Greg Scott. You have a true heart of gold. How many men are menschy enough to take on the fight against their partner's ex's <laughs> disease. And yet, <laughs> and yet, you are a dedicated soldier in every way. Financially, practically, emotionally, there are no words to express how grateful I am to have you beside me. thank Dr. Dan Wallace, who has done so much for so many families, including my own. I'd also like to offer my deepest gratitude to the Lupus LA staff who have worked tirelessly on this event, especially Megan Hack, wherever you are. <laughs> Megan, you have done an outstanding job today. And I'd like to extend my appreciation to the entire board. I am so proud to be on the Lupus LA team. You have all truly become my Lupus family. And I am grateful to our board chairman, Adam Selkowitz. Adam, you are so giving of your time and your talents, it amazes me. I am honored to be your friend. And finally, thanks to you all for being here today. Have a great weekend and happy Thanksgiving.